Good morning and welcome back to Posse Adventures and welcome to the Brisbane Ranges. Today I'm just going to go through my solution uh, to an issue, and it's an age old issue I would say, with free camping, which is you can only stay as long as your water lasts. Now to get around that problem I've got a friend of mine that supplied me, and I'll show you, three of these. Now, normally what I do is I carry these with me. These containers weigh very little when they're empty. Um, so I can pop three of them in the back of the ute and carry them around with us. And then in the event that we get low on water, we can go into the nearest town, fill up those containers and bring them back to the van. Now the issue then comes when you get them back to the van, how do you get these containers with obviously no way of pouring them into a little tiny hole and some caravans have even smaller inlet than the one I've got, just here. So what I've done, I've come up with a, an idea. Now this cost me, I reckon all told, it's probably cost me about $60. Um, I bought myself a little toolbox from Bunnings. Now this toolbox, I think it was about 20 bucks. Um, I'll just flick it around the right way. And inside this toolbox, obviously there's a hose there. I've mounted a, a small 12 volt water pump. Now, some people have done this and they've mounted the same pump that they have in the van. I haven't bothered with that because I just want this as a transfer pump. I don't need it as a spare pump. Um, and it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter how long it takes to actually pump the water in. Um, what else have you got to do? You just leave it to get on with it. When you hear it's run out of water, you know that your, your tank's empty. So let me just quickly go through what's involved in it and how it works. Okay. Okay, so simply put, it's just um, a plastic toolbox, 12 volt pump in there. I've got some, uh, I think this is 10 mil um, nylon or PVC pipe. I have put um, a little on off switch on it and I've put a, an Anderson connector, which I had kicking around actually, just there so that I can plug it into an Anderson. On this side, you've got your water outlet. This is the outlet to the, to the tank. So let's plug that in first. Okay, that's enough. And then we can run this all the way around to the tank. Do. Get it untangled. Okay, let's go around to the water tank. Now, I think my water tanks are quite full actually, but uh, I'll probably get some in there. Now I've just got to find the key from the water tank. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Okay, let's get that off. Get that out of the way. Hose pipe. down slightly and there we go down she goes doesn't need to go too far and then coming back what we need now is power source so just inside the van as you guys will know that have seen my previous videos I put this um, Anderson socket in so we've got the other end here we we'll just I'm just going to put you back on the stand Just plug the Anderson socket in. This way up. There we go. We'll take the um, the water pipe. Now this one, I've put an airline fitting on the end of it, just so that it adds some weight to it, so it doesn't curl as it goes inside the actual container. Pop this back here. Out the way. 
undo the lid, chuck this down inside, and that's just about at the bottom, and switch her on. And we should find in the water in. Now I think this pump is um, a seven litres per minute pump. I might be wrong but I think it's seven litres per minute. So it's not a particularly fast water pump but when you're doing this you don't really need a fast water pump it's just I mean you could use the same one that the um, You could use the same one that the caravan uses and it would give you a spare pump as well. Uh, it would certainly pump the water out much quicker if you did that. But really, when you're camping, what else have you got to do? Sit down, chill out, have a beer and fill up your water tanks. Uh, you can clearly see, you know, it's pumping it at a reasonable pace. You see the water level going down as it does it. So there's 25 litres in that container. And at the moment, I guess it's taken her about a quarter of it already. So that would be about right, because it's been going just over a minute. So it's about seven litres per minute. But yeah, so certainly does the job. Filling these tanks up all right. Water's going in nice. It's nice and light, you can carry it with you. You can see the water level's going down. And it's all in a neat little container. Little toolbox. So to give you a quick rundown as to what's required, obviously a plastic toolbox, I've put a power switch on it, you don't need to have that if you don't want it, but I'll put one on, obviously you need an Anderson socket, and then inside all you need is, and this was a, I think this water pump was $20 on eBay, a cheap water pump, some hosing, some wiring and some connectors, that's it, that's all you need. And there you go, the water is full in the man. Which I knew it was pretty close. As you can see, she's not taking any more now, she's just running out. There we go. Turn off. Well, I mean hopefully that gives you some insight as to what's possible. As I say, the whole the whole unit is um, it fits inside the tunnel boot nicely. It's all self-contained. Um, doesn't leak water anywhere because yeah, you, all the poses disconnect. Um, and it just solves that problem of when you're free camping, how do you get the water into the tanks on the van? It's the easiest way. Uh, and you could um, even put a water filter on there and pump it out of the creek if you wanted. Um, that's also a possibility if you wanted to do that. Okay, well, this weekend we've got a plan to go away. I've got uh, just over a week off. So we're heading out on Friday night. We're heading out to uh, Mount Franklin for the night. From there, we're gonna go to Major Creek. And then from there, uh, on the Sunday, we're gonna head over to Smoko Campground out um, near the Buckland Valley. So I'll be bringing um, a video to you from that area. Um, we'll be having a search around the area and seeing what's going on out there and, and yeah, just keeping you guys all informed. But if you enjoy the content on the channel, please like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be caught up with the uh, latest videos when they get uh, posted. Just be aware that, you know, subscribing to the channel really does help us. Um, we plan in the next five years to be traveling full time and bringing to you videos of doing that. Uh, and the YouTube channel is going to be part of our funding for that. So, um, yeah, please like and subscribe. And until next time, catch you later. Thank you.